welcome one and all, I'm Alexis aka The Soft Reader and I'm here today to do another Top 5 Wednesday video. Top 5 Wednesday is of course hosted by Thoughts on Tome, so I will leave her channel as well as the Goodreads group where we post all of our topics and links and such down below. This week's topic is our favorite spooky settings, so these are settings within books that we find super spooky, so I will go ahead and get into it. The first one I'm going to mention is the Forest of Handsome Teeth trilogy by Carrie Ryan. This is actually a book about a zombie apocalypse, so it's about a future in which people have learn to kind of live around the zombies. This first book in the series follows our main character Mary who lives inside a gated community in a forest and these series of gates actually keeps these zombies out. Um, so they kind of live in a gated community in the woods surrounded on all sides by zombies and it's freaky and each subsequent book in the series um, follows a different main character so it follows a different community and the ways in which these communities have learn to kind of survive in the middle of a bunch of zombie hordes. So yeah, so zombies in general uh, were a childhood fear of mine. Yeah, so super creepy um, and just the whole tone of this book is on the creepy side. The next one I'm going to mention is actually another companion series and since I couldn't choose which book was spookiest I was going to go ahead and just mention both of them. Those books of course being Illuminae and Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Um, these are companion series, so they follow a different main characters, um, and they're both spooky for different reasons. Um, this one takes place on a ship in outer space that is kind of dead in the water. Um, it doesn't have a way to contact, you know, anyone for help, and they're being terrorized by a plague that turns victim into, like, really aggressive, almost zombie creatures, um, and also a tripped out AI that is trying to kill everybody. Gemina! follows a jump gate that kind of similarly is dead in the water and doesn't really have a way to contact for help, um, and it follows uh, um, uh, this station that's actually being terrorized by a group of trained killers, but also by aliens that devour your brain. So, yes, each one, again, is creepy in its own way. Um, and I couldn't decide which one I would want to be trapped on less, and for that reason I just decided to mention both of them. The third book I'm going to mention is Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Sean Ann McGuire. This follows our two main characters, Jack and Jill, as they are transported to a world called the Moors, which is the creepy setting. Uh, the Moors is like every classic horror movie brought to life. There's an evil mad scientist, and there's also a Count Dracula figure that preys on young girls. Um, and it's basically just about Jack and Jill fitting into the Moors uh, in their respective ways. But yeah, like definitely I would want nothing to do with the Moors. The Moors sounds terrifying. And even if I think it's more magical in this book than it is scary, I still wouldn't want to be there at all. The next book I'm going to mention is 1984 by George Orwell. You guys knew I was going to put some dystopian on this list. Um, and 1984 is by far the most terrifying dystopian to me. This is a dystopian in which all individuality and individual thought um, and free speech have completely been obliterated. Um, basically in this society you do what the government tells you, you do it when the government tells you, and if you stray from the path the government has assigned to you in any way, you get trapped by the thought police. And so, like, this is meant to be a scary novel, right? This is meant to be horrifying fiction, and I think that's very much what it is. And I think this very much helped set the tone of dystopian fiction, so absolutely would never want to be in a George Orwell dystopian. Just saying. The last one I'm going to mention is This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. This basically follows our two main characters, Kate and August, who live in a city called Verity, and Verity is basically divided in half by two separate factions, but Regardless of those, there are three types of monsters that haunt this city. There are the Corsai, the Maokai, and the Sunai, and each one of these monsters is equally terrifying in its own way, um, and I'm just saying, I would not want to be caught by any of them in a dark alley. And like, we're in this series, you know, we follow a character who is actually a Sunai monster, and so we're given a humanity of him as a monster, but the other two are, are just absolutely terrifying and like, no. <laughs> like, no. I'd take my chances with anything else pretty much because I don't want to be in an alley with either of those. Alright guys, so those were my top five Wednesday picks for this week. I would love to hear what book you guys think has the spookiest setting and I'll see you guys soon with another video.